Hey there everybody, it's JP1970 and I'm coming to you with another video. Yeah, I want to talk to you today about what it's like, what it's actually like riding this bike. This is the 2022 Kawasaki KLR. Now this is the adventure model. This one comes with, uh, with some extra things like the fog lights and uh, the USB and the the uh i don't know what they call this anyway it's like the other you know the other uh that port right so you can get an adapter and you can run another usb i guess if you want to so i noticed uh i've had some people in the comments ask me who's this bike for like where are you gonna ride this right what uh, i mean can you take it on the freeway does it go fast enough to go on the freeway uh, is it just a like a commuter bike for around town or what you know where do you where do you ride this thing so um so i kind of want to i want to respond to that and kind of say you know who is this bike for who that who is the kawasaki klr 650 really for so uh now you may or may not be able to tell but i'm out here on the coast of southern california this is uh this is we're coming up on laguna beach so we're in newport beach right now and we're there's the coast right over there the ocean is right over there so this is one of my favorite rides to do when i'm back in california visiting my folks i like to get down here and ride along pch now as you may uh, notice this is uh stop and go kind of uh you know stoplight to stoplight kind of riding so this is uh you know i'm not i get up to speed limit 60. anyway so we're, we got a 60 mile an hour uh zone here and i'm cruising pretty much at about 60 miles an hour and this bike is uh is wonderful at 60. it is uh a delight at 60 miles an hour uh let me see here got a little rain coming down um so it is, like I say, it's just, you know, this bike, uh, I'm trying to, you know, I was asked to kind of describe what it's like to, to ride this bike. So, so once you get seated on the bike, it's a very comfortable bike. Your feet are right below, or straight down below you. Your posture is, you know, you're sitting upright. You feel very much uh, like you you see the, the road ahead of you very, very well. So you have really good visibility from the cockpit and um, I just feel very very much you know very much uh, like an active rider you know I'm not slumped back I'm not you know reclined with my foot my feet way out in front of me or anything like that I'm just very much um, you know in the cockpit and I feel very active kind of leaning forward ever so slightly so uh, so uh, so let's see now it is christmas day so there's a lot of traffic a lot of, you wouldn't think there would be I, well i wouldn't think there would be i'd think people would be at home with their loved ones <laughs> oh yeah like me out on my motorcycle out for a ride well anyway um so i'm gonna what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this down to laguna beach i'm gonna go up through the canyon and i'm gonna take the freeway back to huntington and i'll put a map up and kind of show you where i'm going and what i'm doing but uh, but okay, so so who's this bike meant for? Who's who's gonna ride this bike? Well, I would say first of all, if you are looking for a bike to get around and, and just kind of ride on local jaunts, kind of like what I'm doing today, Huntington Beach down to Laguna Beach, it's about probably 30 miles one way. Uh, you know this kind of this kind of riding, two lane uh, highway with uh, speed limits not in excess of 55 or 60 miles an hour yeah you can do that this would be good a good this would be a real good commuter bike for somebody who's just wanting to get to work and get back and save some money on gas and vehicle expense and insurance etc etc so this would be a great bike for somebody who's just wanting to commute to work and uh and maybe just you know run some errands I'll pull over up here and show you how I've got my bike set up. I've got two cases on the sides, and then I've also got a top case. So I, I can actually store a fair amount of, uh, of goods on this bike. So, and I will, I'll pull over up here and take a look. 
at it. We'll take a closer look here. So as you're kind of, you know, commuting through city traffic, kind of like I am right now, you'd find this bike is very manageable. It's very easy to ride. It's very easy to control. It'd be perfect for a new rider, somebody who's just getting into riding, or uh, I would have to say, uh, it'd be, it's great for a guy like me who's been riding over 40 years, ridden all different kinds of bikes, dirt bikes, street bikes, uh, enduro bikes, you name it. But I've never had a, an adventure style bike like this. It was very much either street, dirt, or uh, maybe a mix, but not quite like the Kawasaki KLR 650. And, um, and I think a lot of that just has to do with kind of the lower horsepower, the increased storage. It's more set up for like for going on long adventure type rides. Here, let's uh, we'll pop down here off of the main drag and I'll hop off and take a quick look at my bike here and show you show you what I've done to it. Again, we're in Laguna Beach. I'm gonna put my signal on, let everybody know what I'm doing and we'll drop down in here. Now this bike is brand new. Uh, I have just uh, almost 500 miles on it. Haven't even had the first oil change done. So I'm still kind of getting familiar with this bike. But I tell you what, it's easy to do. It's easy to get comfortable on this bike. Easy to get familiar. Uh, let's see if I can find a nice spot for us to stop and look at this bike. Thought maybe something with the uh, ocean in the back. How about this? What do you think? Is this a spot? Oh, I think it is. I think it is. Put the kickstand down. Now this is a tall bike, I will warn you. And I am not a tall guy. So I have to be careful how I park, where I park. And what I like to do is have a nice lean on it. So yeah, that's better. Okay, so, so key off, right? Now I've got my, my phone mounted here with a, uh, with a quad lock mount. And if you've seen some of my other videos, you've no doubt seen this. So there's my quad lock. It charges while I'm riding. And uh, so you just, you get the case. It's really slick. Put that on there. Put that on like so, and there you go. Okay, so now what I like to do is just hop off by stepping on the peg and stepping off the bike like so. So there's my bike. There's the 2022 Kawasaki KLR. And the way I have it set up, here. The way I have it set up is I have my two storage cases here, and I keep a tool bag here, first aid kit here, extra pair of gloves, extra towels. Maybe I need one of those right now. Okay, so I can clean, keep my, my visor and my sunglasses dry, clear and dry. Okay, this is all my GoPro gear in there. So that's kind of what I have set up in there. So I got another bag just like that over here. This is where I store my handy dandy little cooler, right? I have to carry some refreshments. And there's some miscellaneous stuff. Those are some mirrors, my double take mirrors that I'm going to be putting on. These are the straps for when I strap this bike down in the trailer. And then, in my last, in my top case, in my top case, I mean, this will hold a full size helmet and then some. And then I've got the tank bag just to carry some extra gear. And there it is. I've had this bike for just under 500 miles and I'm absolutely loving it. So, 
But who is this bike made for? That is the question. Down here at Laguna Beach. Look at this. Okay, so helmet's going back on, and we're going to get back to this ride. Yeah, my goal is to uh, to get as close to 600 miles on this thing as I can in the next couple of days because I have an appointment to get my oil changed. Well, not to downplay it, to get my 600 mile service done. And I have an appointment scheduled for Tuesday, which is in three days, actually. But I'm down here in Southern California, and it's been raining off and on. So I'm trying to get my riding in. So, okay, so foot on the peg, right? Throw a leg over. And now I'm in the cockpit. Easy as fishing. Put my gloves on. And we'll get back to it. So, yeah. So don't worry if you're a shorter person, um, within reason, you know, within reason. I'm 5'8"-ish. I used to be 5'9", but I guess I'm shrinking, so apparently I'm not 5'9 anymore. So let's hop out here. Okay, good, good. And, uh, and away we go. So... Yeah, so this is some busy city ride, city driving, some busy city driving, and this is no problem whatsoever, right? Just keep your eyes peeled, keep your head on a swivel, as old Jersey Nick Moto says, and if you don't know who that is, you should check out his video, I'll put a, or check out his channel, I'll put a link to him up here, Jersey Nick Moto, he's a good dude. And, um, so we're just down here in Laguna Beach, riding around, I'm going to, uh, to get down here and, and I'm gonna ride up through the canyon and I'm gonna hop on the freeway and show you what this bike is like riding on the freeway. So I got a remote control for my GoPro for Christmas. Here, take a look at that, isn't that slick? No more wondering if I'm recording or not. No no more wondering, am I, am I recording? Is this thing on? Now I can tell at a glance, and I am. Very cool. My brother Phil the Pain bought me that. He's also a YouTuber, and I'll put a link to his channel at the end of this video. So be sure and go show my brother some love. He's a good dude. He does uh, he does um, that kind of travel, football, going to football game, going to fun destination kind of videos. Uh, and he uh, he he's got a great personality. You ought to check him out. You'll you'll love him. He's a great guy, does some great videos. All right, so now I'm coming down here into Laguna Beach. This is Main Beach. Here, I'll, I'll stand up on the pegs, give you a good shot. That's Main Beach. If you wanna come play basketball, look, courts are open. So we're gonna take a left here and we're gonna go up through Laguna Canyon. And uh, we'll, we'll let this thing, we'll open it up a little bit. Okay. Now one thing, as you may or may not notice, this does not have self-canceling turn signals, which I may have to figure out a way around that. I may have to figure out a way to add that, because I always forget to turn my darn signals off, and I don't like to be that guy riding around with a turn signal on, just rolling down the road with no intention of turning. It's inconsiderate, folks. So I'm going to have to see if I can get that figured out, see if there's a way to fix that. If you happen to know and you're watching this video, leave it in the comments down below, please. I would sure appreciate it. We got the green. We got the green. Go, 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 go. So this is Main Beach again, like I said before. And we're heading up through... Uh, this is going to turn into Laguna Canyon Highway. And it'll take us up to the 405 Freeway, which will then take us back to where I came from, which is Huntington Beach. So it'll be a nice little, just a nice little loop.
Okay, so now we're going to get out of the city a little bit, get up here into the canyon, and kind of open this thing up a little bit. I'm now doing 60 miles an hour, and I'm going to wait till I see a speed limit sign. Oh, 45, so I'll slow down a little bit. But as you can see, the traffic's a little bit more relaxed, and we're just kind of cruising up through the canyon. And I do believe that at some point this does become more like 60 miles an hour, which, which this bike will do quite easily, quite effortlessly, dare I say. still at 45 miles an hour Yeah, so this bike is wonderful for riding like this, just kind of out for a mellow, kind of feels like a Sunday ride, but it's, uh, it's Saturday. It's Christmas Day, everybody. Christmas Day. So, yeah, so this bike is moving out just fine. Now, I know there have been some questions about, like, head buffeting or, you know, how comfortable the bike is. And I have to say, I find this bike to be extremely comfortable. The, uh, they changed, they updated the seat a little bit, and it's more comfortable. It's not like sitting on a dirt bike seat, you know, a hard plastic seat. This one's actually got some nice cushioning to it. And the ergonomics of this bike are very comfortable. You can spend some time in the saddle without getting uncomfortable, or feeling like you have to hop off and stretch all the time. Now the head buffeting, I don't have an issue. This, this is the uh, this. Uh, you can set this windshield at two different settings. I have it set at the lowest, and and I feel like the the wind just goes right over my head. Not an issue. Not an issue whatsoever. So. And the speed limit has been, I think, 45 through here, so this obviously is no problem at all. We'll get up here and we'll get on the freeway, and we'll get a chance to go more like 70, maybe a little bit more. And, uh, and I still find that not to be an issue, but let me show you. Enjoy the canyon. So now we come here to the, um, where there's a toll road turn for the 73, which is our fast track, the toll road, and if you want to get to different parts, you can certainly do that. I, however, I'm going to just stick with this because I want to go up through Sand Canyon, I beg your pardon, Laguna Canyon, back to the freeway. So I'm going to stay on Laguna Canyon Road here and take it back to the freeway. So, yeah, so now I'm getting out here, right? I'm mixing things up a little bit. Say I want to pass. It's not, a, I mean, I have no problem passing other vehicles on this bike. You know, everybody talks about these KLRs and how slow they are. I just don't find that to be the case. I mean, here, I mean, it, it accelerates just fine. And that could be because of the, uh, the electronic fuel injection that they added for this new 2022 
update or one of the updates that they did but I find this bike to be very responsive and I find that it moves out just fine but what you don't have and what you're not going to have uh, is that top speed I mean obviously this bike I think it tops out at like 99 miles an hour I, th I believe that's what I've read I have not tried to see how, what the top speed is on this bike I probably will at some point but I haven't done so yet I'm still doing the initial break in but see so here we are we're moving 60 we're going right up to 70 I mean no problem passing cars is not an issue fire this bad boy up okay so now we're gonna hop out on the freeway and we're gonna see how this thing does Okay, so let's see, let's see. I want. Let's plug in my coordinates here. Use my nav system. Okay, favorites. Say Brook Lane. That's where we're going. Okay, I just love this. This is trick. Okay, so. I recommend if you get one of these bikes you should get you should get the quad lock mount I will warn you however this bike does vibrate just a little bit just a little bit and uh, and there is the potential to damage your iPhone so hey if you buy one you're on your own God knows quad lock doesn't, doesn't stand behind it they don't uh, I don't think I don't think they warranty that you might want to check into that and see see if we can trip the sensor here this bike usually does I haven't any problems so we're gonna head down at Barranca Parkway Barranca and we're gonna hop on the freeway and head back so yeah okay there's where we're going up there so let's see come on Okay, so we're going to hop on the 133 South, and we're going to take that to the 405 North. So let's see here, we're going to do some, some California riding. So we're going to take the Cloverleaf here, 133 South. This is a freeway, freeway entrance. So how does the 2022 Kawasaki KLR do on the freeway? Let's find out, shall we? Okay, so there we're on to the freeway, navigating the on-ramp. And we're gonna come up here and take the 405 north. We're up to 65, 70 miles an hour. No problem. This has us going up and on. 405 North. Try and get home before the rain starts up again. And I'm in fifth gear and I'm rolling on to the freeway. Doing 70 miles an hour. No problem whatsoever. Creeps up to 75, 77. And I am quite comfortable. I'm not being battered around by the wind at all. This thing just kind of cuts right through it. 78 miles an hour. Let's see if I can just kind of try to maintain that. 70. Just try to maintain between 75 and 80. It's not real easy to do because you don't have cruise control so you have to kind of 
find that balance with the throttle. But yeah, this thing is cruising just fine, no problem. 77. Yeah, the freeways don't seem too busy today, that's nice. Light Christmas traffic. So yeah, to answer your question, I guess to answer the question, who is this bike for? Uh, I tell you what, I think it's for I think it's for me, and I've got uh, various, I've got kind of diverse a diverse riding style. I like to do all kinds of different riding. I like to do local city riding. I like to do uh, day trips out on the freeways. I like to uh, I like to hop onto some trails and go explore a little bit where I can, when I can. And this bike will do all of that. As you can see, I'm pretty much hovering right at about 79, 80 miles an hour. Can't seem to make up its mind. There we go. So we're doing 80, 81. I'll hop over a lane. And, uh, and, and this bike has more to go. I mean, it will do, it will do more. Granted, it's just me riding. The bike is not too terribly loaded down. So there's not a lot of weight, although I do weigh about 260 pounds. So for what it's worth. But as you can see, I can pass cars quite easily and, uh, and certainly go with the flow of traffic which is what I'm doing right now. Oh, shoot. Yeah, the speed limit is uh, 65 through here. All right, officer, you got me. All right, I'll slow down a little bit. How about 72? 72, will you give me 72? Yeah, so I'm rolling down the road at 70. How's that? That's more within the, a uh, little closer to the speed limit. And I can do this all day long. So yeah, pretty much I think whatever you're, if you're considering buying this bike and you're worried that, you know, you're not going to be able to go uphill on it or uh, you're not going to be able to take it on the freeway, uh, I would not worry about that. You'll be able to do that just fine. And quite comfortably, I might add. Once again, folks, this is JP1970, the proud new owner of a 2022 Kawasaki KLR Adventure 650 motorcycle. If you have any questions about what it's like to own one of these, what it's like to ride one of these, what, uh, what I paid for mine, uh, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below, and I will get back to you just as soon as I can. Thanks for checking out this video, everybody, and I will see you in the next one. Take care now. Take care, and I hope you had a Merry Christmas.